Hi guys, Genevieve here. Um, so, Kriya, sorry if I said your name wrong, um, asked me a question about the inner child and healing from grief, sorry, all of that kind of thing. Now, I have done a couple of videos on the inner child before, so you want to check over them, um, listen to them. Bear in mind that as my awareness grows um, and the more I kind of shift within myself, the more information I have about this kind of stuff. So, what I haven't mentioned in those previous videos that may be really important to like kind of like the key to shifting is that you are the creator of your inner child you are not your inner child okay so if you expand out of this reality or this lifetime and recognize that you're an infinite being you chose to come here and then you've kind of like created the identity that you have um, while you're here so it's like you are not only just the aspects of the inner child, you're the space between them because all separation is an illusion. So the thing is with inner children, um, when you have created an inner child, it's often either because there's some sort of trauma that's not processed properly, um, but it's also often to make somebody wrong, to give have an excuse to not achieve or to not succeed so the key to kind of resolving anything is choice and question um, when you choose to let go of something when you choose to change something that's when it changes so um, you can do what I've said in previous videos which is creating a dialogue between um, the different aspects of you so connecting with the inner child and finding out what it requires, what it needs to let go of, having a dialogue and letting it know that whatever it is holding on to, like it doesn't deserve to hold on to it. You know, its job is to be free and happy and um, let it know that you as an adult are not the same as the adults that you had in your life when you were little and that give it that commitment to take care of um, it the way that it ha didn't receive. And often that will shift things. Um, you can also just start asking questions so what do i require in order to um, move beyond the inner child paradigm what what would i have to be what would i have to acknowledge about myself and the thing that you probably have to acknowledge is that you're infinite and um, also the element of you chose your reality you chose your parents um, and so asking the question, what was the gift of everything that I've experienced? And I know that for some of you, if you've experienced extreme abuse, it may be really, really hard to hear that. And you may hate me for saying it, but honestly, if you're willing to acknowledge that from before you got here, you made a choice to come here and be with the people that you're with, that is the key to freeing yourself from those people. Okay, so what is the gift? Um, so, uh, doing body processes like access bars can help to let go of the trauma. I would also recommend seeing someone professionally if this feels like it's too much for you to handle on your own. Because the thing is, is like how you can know is if you're functioning from any kind of inner child paradigm is when you go into that helplessness of I can't do it you know how little kids kind of um, you know will, will try things and then they can't they'll, they'll give up really quickly and they'll want somebody to fix it for them when you go into that energy it's you've shifted into an inner child um, aspect so often the inner child requires a therapist or a healer or somebody that can kind of be in the parent role to help shift you out of those I can't do it um, beliefs so that you then grow into um, the space of infinite or the space of an adult also so uh, you are welcome to contact me for sessions um, via my website um, or I would recommend um, other theatre healers or access consciousness facilitators they're usually trained to be able to uh, deal with this kind of stuff so um, yeah and in regards to the feelings so letting go of any feeling 
all of the the blame the sorrow everything that is it's like ask yourself who am i trying to make wrong who am i trying to get acknowledgement from who am i um requiring validation from and what if i was willing to give all of that to myself what if i didn't require anything from these people in order to shift and grow and what if i was willing to treat myself with the kindness um, that I deserve instead of how I was treated okay so asking those questions will start to shift your mindset and um, another question you can ask is if uh, like the, the sorrow the whatever feeling wasn't bigger than me what what could I choose here and that will get you to the place of choosing to let it go so I hope that's helpful uh, if anyone else has any more questions please do write them in the comment box uh, if you found this useful, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Bye.